Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Let's Play. <clears throat> Last time we did reasonably well, which is scary because it means we're going to die very quickly this time, I'm sure. We were a kobold artificer... I didn't notice our title was The Charlatan. That's kind of rude, actually. Sorry if my voice still sounds a bit strange. My mouth is really fucked up. Like, this is the first day in a while it hasn't started randomly bleeding. So, yeah. If I sound a bit strange, it's because of that, mostly. Fuck. Okay, well, let's try to not go anywhere near that, actually. Running away, running away. Okay, um, wand, wand, wand. Sleeve probably won't work. Random effects will probably backfire. So, good old fireball. Lightly damaged. That's not good. Wow. Really fast for an ogre, apparently. What are the odds I can poison a ghost? I'm thinking nothing. Yeah, I mean to poison. Huh. Hmm. Well, only a slightly resist enchantment, so maybe... Heavily damaged? Okay, that could have gone worse. Mast. Heavily damaged. Do I have any interesting darts? I have darts of frost and flame. Hmm. You stop following me so closely, damn it. You are not this fast. Okay, apparently you are that fast. Never mind. You shouldn't be this fast. Stares at me and I feel cold. What? I don't know what that does. Gotta stop missing. Uh, fly safely over the trap. Yeah, so leading around to traps isn't going to do anything. Running around in circles is probably also not going to do anything. Charmed. Good. Any chance of me getting rid of you? Um, huh. Yeah, I don't really have a choice. Easily resists. Inky potion, teleport control, evasion. Evasion is probably the only reason I'm even still alive, to be honest. So let's try to blink. 
That's the farthest I can go. Down here? Looks like it. Wow. Fucking hell. That was annoying. So I think all of my skills leveled and I reached level 7. Okay, time to go pick up all these darts that I missed. <sighs> okay, nap. Okay, so... I was not expecting to survive that. And hopefully we don't run into anything else that's that difficult to kill. I'm gonna switch back to regular darts now. Water moccasin is definitely poisonous. Why can I not kill this ant? Don't understand. <laughs> Am I going to die to a snake after that epic battle? Really? Um, looks like it. And I died. Yep, I died to a snake. Wonderful. I'm disappointed. After all that, I died to a snake. <sighs> oh well. Not sure what I want to be now. This will be a vampire. <sighs> yeah, I kind of liked having a ranged weapon like that. It's... I'm not sure what has more common ammo, actually. I usually see arrows more, I think. But crossbow would probably have more potential for, like, raw damage. Mm, I'll go with a bow. So, 20 arrows, potion of blood, and a book of debilitation. Fill with holes. So it should have been used as archery targets. That's kind of funny, actually. It's from the description, by the way, if you're not sure where I'm reading. Uh, okay, Corona, Slow, Inner Flame, Enslavement, Fear, and Liquefaction? What does Liquefaction do? Liquefies the ground, make you difficult to move. Okay. So, Corona... Halo of Glowing Light to Outline... Offsets the dark of the dungeon and makes the creature easier to hit. Okay. I think, um, enchanters start with 
that as well. Yes, I realize I'm using a ranged weapon in melee. It's probably more effective. All right, skills. Keep forgetting about skills. Take out fighting and spell casting, I think I'll get rid of and focus on bows, hexes, and dodging for right now. I'm surprised I haven't lost a... I should stop butchering these things because it's not actually going to do anything. I'm a vampire. Need to drink my opponents, not eat them. It's a fancy shot around a wall like that. Can I actually kill this thing? done that in the first place. Twenty arrows, good. Okay, level two and my hexes are better. That's pretty good. I don't really need darts, so I've got a bow for them. I'm gonna pick up magical darts if I find them, but... Am I actually carrying... Yeah, why am I carrying a corpse? I don't need that. Just no. Okay, E. And then yes. Happy has a little reminder. I couldn't remember what the button was. So I guess I am eating my opponents, not drinking them. Even though it would make more sense to be drinking from them. I think it would make more sense anyway. You don't eat a liquid normally. I guess you could, but it's not how it normally works. Dwarven cloak. Guess I'll wear that. Doesn't hurt my evasion. I'd like to find another one of those really nice, um, what was it, plus six, I think? Evasion amulets. Why can I not hit these geckos? Don't understand that. I mean, they are giant geckos. I'm still not sure what I want to do for my next project, to be honest. I've got a couple ideas, but I haven't made up my mind yet, which is mostly why I'm still doing this. because I want something to record. Uh, I could probably learn a new spell by now, right? Yeah, I could learn slow. With a 4% failure chance? Yeah, that's... Pretty good. Because now I can... try to slow them down.
And that gives me more time to pelt them with arrows from a distance. At least the enemies that aren't resistant to my axes. Keep forgetting I need to hit E and then R to drink. Or then Y to drink. I'm bad at speaking today, apparently. Read. Enchant weapon. Cool. So now my bow is actually pretty good. Visibility. Actually, I should do the scrolls first. Magic mapping. Okay. The reason I should do the scrolls first, if I, if that wasn't clear, is that they might be identifier scrolls, which means I don't have to waste the potion to identify it. Um, translucent rock walls all around the stairway. It's kind of odd. I don't think I want to follow that. As neat as it looks, I'm pretty sure I'm better off not going that way right now. Ooh, a staff. A knobbly ruined staff. If you have a staff, I'll give you a staff. If you have no staff, I'll take it from you. I actually kind of like that. It's kind of funny. So, I think those work sort of like wands do, where you can zap them to get various magical effects. Nice and bolt. I find a nice crossbow want those, so I guess I'll pick them up. Plus one ring of dexterity. That's pretty helpful for an archer. Ring mail. Hmm. My armor skill is terrible. I should probably work on stealth a little bit, to be honest. But no, nah, I think I'll leave it for now. Vampires are really good at stealth though. So it would probably be a good idea to work on it eventually. Especially for a ranged character, being able to sneak past enemies and get to a good position to pelt them from would probably be really good. I want to work on my dodging and stuff right now. Pair of gloves. Sure. Plus one gloves. It's not particularly helpful as far as I can tell, but yeah, gloves. Something. I'm not really sure how armor calculations are done in this game, to be honest. Curse armor first. And remove curse. Okay. So that was pretty pointless, really, but whatever works. Slow you down a lot, did it? No, I'm trying to shoot it. Uh, I'll go for dexterity. Can now transform into a vampire rat. Cool. I think that means I can fly, right? into a speedy vampire bat. In bat form, you can neither interact with items in any form except picking them up or dropping them, nor cast spells. 
Bat form will decrease your current strength while increasing your dexterity. Thus, you won't be able to change form if your strength is too low. The flight is magically augmented, so you stay in the air even if the weight of your possessions or some disability would naturally drag you down. Okay, so I'm faster than normal and I can fly. That seems particularly useful. Uh, struggles to resist. Slows down. Cool. So yeah, this character is actually working out reasonably well. Can I? No. I was hoping that was a corpse and not like bread. <laughs> Waka did not do very well at its job. Not that I'm complaining, mind. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Miscast. Okay, got the slap. <sighs> Iron Altar of Okawaru. Okay, well, let me look through here, drink some corpses, pick up any arrows I might have missed. Nope, just starts. Okay. Dangerous and powerful god of battle. Number of powers useful in combat, but must constantly prove themselves through battle and sacrifice of corpses. Prefers heroic feats against much stronger enemies and pays little heat easier to victories. Fair fights are not required. Harming one's allies will incur wrath. That seems pretty reasonable for me. Can abandon him later if I feel like it. So yeah, that seems pretty workable actually. I think after this one I'm gonna call an episode. Oh, yeah, I can pray over these corpses now. Inept door mimic. Stop following me. Wow, they're fast. Lost a bunch of arrows in that fight, too. That. Hmm. No idea. I could probably get another Uncur Staff of Air. I don't know what that does. Increases the power of air spells, insulates from electricity, can shock those struck by it. Okay. I think I can probably get another spell now. The spell fills an enemy with intense fire to be explicitly released upon death. Ooh. That's pretty neat. Call 
Cause hostile creature to fight on your side. Fear and those near to the caster. Hmm. I know. I think I'm gonna hold off for a little bit. Try to decide. But that one that makes my enemies burst into fire seems pretty useful for crowd control. But I'm not sure if I would actually be able to make much use of it. That admittedly it would have been helpful in that last room, the one with the altar. Snakes are fast. Don't like that. And Okawaru is taking all of my corpses now. Zom. Is a wild and unpredictable god of chaos who seeks not worshippers but playthings with which to toy. Choose to follow Zom in the hope of receiving fabulous resort <laughs> Rewards and mighty powers, but nothing if not capricious. Also, there's nothing a follower can do to influence his mood. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Don't care. Fuck you, Okawaru. I have Zom now. This seems like it will be fun. Also, Okawaru kept stealing my fucking meals, so fuck him. Huh. Oh, it does cost MP to go to bat for him. That's kind of annoying. Can't go to the stairs. And he dropped a corpse for me. <laughs> Tom thinks this is hilarious and all the blood oozes out of the corpse. Wow. Okay. That already paid for itself. No, stop. I can't drain a cockroach. Apparently I can't drain a cockroach. That's kind of odd. Okay, so it's not let me have that one. Actually, I am gonna pick up that enslavement spell. on this orc, but I want to have it. I'm running low on arrows, actually. So I wonder what Okawaru is actually going to do about me abandoning him. Kind of curious. He doesn't seem like a particularly happy fellow. So I can't imagine it will be anything pleasant. He's probably gonna summon a bunch of monsters on me or something while I'm sleeping. I said I was gonna cut the episode on the end of the last floor, but having fun. Even though my commentary isn't exactly great. Ashinzari, ooh. I like Ashinzari, but Zom is funnier. 
Well, I don't think I've read her description yet, so... Well, it seems inconceivable that the Divine could be shackled. Ashenzari is just that, being purposely nailed to the sky for eternity. The unbudging God is all-knowing, all-seeing. Devoted worshippers are allowed to grasp shreds of this knowledge and foresight, but be warned. To Ashenzari, power, blessing, and curse are all the same thing. No. My potion of blood rotted away? Okay, I didn't even know that could happen. But, um... Hmm. What are those white potions? Curing. Basically, Ashindari. She likes it when you run around wearing cursed items. And the happier she is with you, the more, like, just general information you get. So, she'll identify items for you, she'll fill out map information, let you see farther, stuff like that. Or, not really farther, but I think she lets you see, like, more of the map, basically. So, just lots of useful information. She's actually probably one of the better deities, but... Oh, poison needle trap. Oh, not a trap, actually. It was just a poison needle. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll pick that out. Comes with a blowgun, even. Couldn't hurt, right? Leather armor. I actually need some armor, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty handy. I'm gonna drop that robe then. I don't need that anymore. Other armor is a good mix between like protection and ability to actually dodge things. So I think that's pretty good for an archer character. What does enslavement last for? That long. Okay, so it lasts quite a while. It's mostly why I charmed it. I just wanted to see how long it lasted. Yeah, I think that will be more helpful than the explosive bodies thing for crowd control. It's being able to charm one or two enemies and get them fighting for me. Where is that? Oh, it's around the wall. I wonder how I knew about that. I definitely couldn't see it. Unless I just saw it run around that wall. Or run towards that corner. Zalm has been pretty quiet. Kind of surprised. I was expecting him to be more active. But I guess that sort of comes with the territory of not being able to, like, influence his actions at all. Sling bullets, I don't really think I need. Don't really want chainmail. Oh, right. <sighs> Does this like? Huh. I don't know. I was thinking maybe those spells were costing me hunger or thirst or whatever, but I don't think they do.
Okay, I'm going to cut it here. See you next time, guys. Bye.